Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Finds. As per usual, I have quite the eclectic mix of records, all of which you can see previewed here. And we're gonna start with the seven inches, and first up we have First Boy on the Moon. This is from 2020 on Manic Records, and they sort of describe their sound as alternative rock in the likes of U2, Cure, and Bowie. And I really picked up on that. Lots of chorus pedal. The drums really stand out on here. The, the, the vocals I liked because they had this sort of aching quality, but it wasn't self-pitying. And uh, I really dug this. I'll show you the record itself. It came on colored vinyl. It's a nice pink. Really, really striking. I think, what is this? This is side A. And there is side B with the stars. I want to thank First Boy in the Moon for sending me their release. I believe both of these songs are exclusive to this record. They're not available otherwise, so check it out. So up next, I have Eric Jorgensen with his first EP on vinyl. That's right, there's four songs on here, and I, I really enjoyed it. The music is, how would you say, I guess, very calming instrumentals. It's sort of cosmic lounge music. There's harmonica, keyboards, flute, and sax too. And, and somehow he has the ability of sounding both modern and retro. I'd say if you're a fan of synth music, you'll, you'll really enjoy this release. I'll show you the, the vinyl. Here is, I guess, uh, side A, and there is side B. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I want to thank you, Eric, for sending this my way. So last of the seven inches, I have Airbrushed by Anamana Gucci. So this is the first song I ever heard from the band. Absolutely adored it. And I guess in 2011, they printed up what they thought were 300 vinyl copies. Well, it turned out they just found another 300. Now these are different because the original was a lenticular cover. And so this has got Airbrushed and then Pen Pal. And on the back side, there's an RAC remix of Airbrush, which I also really enjoyed. This is just an icing on the cake of my Anamana Gucci 2020 experience. Um, yeah, so uh, check out the song. It, it kind of, I don't know if this song in particular put them on the map, but it certainly put them on my map, put them on my radar. So anyway. Awesome stuff. All right, moving on to LPs. First up, I have Lucid Links. This is their self-titled debut album from 2018. They are a fantastic modern psych band with just a little hint of 90s influence. But overall, it's just a, a great time. I'll show you guys the, the vinyl itself. So here we have Side A. And there is Side B. And I think overall, their strongest... Uh, aspect of this record are the melodies super catchy and they 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 hooked me right in so check them out and i want to thank lucid links for sending me your record up next i have ceramic animals latest album this is their third record called high end and this is pretty special because eric the drummer in the band sent me a test pressing way before the album was set to be released and believe it or not, this is my first test pressing. I've, I've never owned one before, but uh, I'll show you the vinyl real quick. Uh, again, generic labels, side A, side B. One of my, f actually my favorite song on here is All My Loving, and it is a 10 minute sonic odyssey. It takes you through so many different uh, tempos and moods and feelings. It just surrounds me and, and I, I love the feeling that it gives me. Um, I gotta say overall, each song stands on its own and it, it is full of variety. It, it's not just like the same rinse and repeat for eight songs. It, it, each one has their own unique uh, feeling and style and so yeah. Really enjoyed this, and, and thank you so much for sending me my very first test pressing. So up next, I have two records from Modern Harmonic. Now these are those really cool record and movie combinations. They work with something weird to put out these very esoteric uh, soundtracks. Uh, this first one is called The Doll Squad. So this film is from 1973, and supposedly it inspired Charlie's Angels. We don't know for sure, but if you watch it, uh, you kind of get the idea. So it's, it's just an elite squad of female, 
I don't know if you call them assassins, but they definitely know their way around bazookas, guns, and kung fu. And it's, it's just a fun watch to put on with some friends. And the added benefit of, of having the record with it is pretty cool. I tried it out. It, it's a little tricky to get it exact with the sync, but I think having it a little off is, is <laughs> it adds to the uh, the funness, I guess, of of the uh, of the experience. Musically, this is a great blend of uh, spy music with wah wah guitar and mysterious flute. There's some great upbeat action tracks as well as some great mysterious slow down bits, and of course, there are tracks of just dialogue, which I think is great. I'll show you the vinyl real quick. It comes on this it's very striking green. There is side A and there is side B. If you're looking for a fun time, an interactive experience, especially during these times when there's not a lot going on, I highly recommend checking this out. So this next one is Psychedelic Sex Kicks. It's not a porno, but the girls get naked, the guy gets naked and they they go on a trip and they paint themselves and they paint the wall and it's uh <laughs> it's pretty goofy man so this is indian music uh but i i use that lightly because it's it's played by jim mullins and mark udley this is not ravi shankar uh you know, the, the creme de la creme of, of Indian traditional, uh, what is it called? It's called, um, Hindu, it's called Hindustani music. And it's, it's, you know, at the time, I'm sure it sounded exotic, but to my ears, it just sounds sort of amateurish, but it, it's sort of clumsy in an endearing sense. It is on this nice white color. There's side A. And there is side B. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So check it out. And I want to thank Modern Harmonic for sending me these great records to, to, to listen to and to watch. So up next, I have Robotrop with his, I believe, second release, Flowers. This was done through Crate. And it's on his brand new record label, Eric B. Records. And um, I was such a fan of the first release. I had to check out this one. And I really enjoyed it. It is uh, down-tempo mostly instrumental hip hop. And I'll show you guys the vinyl. Here is side A with the dog, and there is side B. If you're into instrumental hip hop, uh, down tempo, chill records, highly recommend listening to RoboChop. All right, so up next, I have four records from King Underground. They are a label out of England, and I really enjoy the releases. And these first three are in the spirit of library records. First up, we have Simon Plays, and this is Simon Allen, the drummer and co-founder of the new Master Sounds. More on them in a little bit. So basically, this was recorded on two inch tape and it is all drum breaks. But I think for those of you who are into this kind of record, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Here is side A and there is side B. Up next from that series, we have Johnny Drop with In The Pocket. This is from 2019. Now, Johnny is from The Expansions, if you know that band. And this is very much uh, kind of got a 70s funk feel. So we have uh, three songs on here, and then we have a bunch of different breaks, and then you have the stems from each of these three songs. So you have guitar, Roads and baseline, and I'll show you the vinyl. Here is side A, and there is side B. Last up from the library series, we have Hidden Symbols with Carl Morgan. This is from 2020. Love the title, by the way. Well, this is drum and bass, and it's got a, a moody feel, sometimes grungy, lo fi, sometimes dub inspired and you have seven songs, and then you have the drums and bass as separate stems. And I'll show you the vinyl real quick. Here you go, there is side A, and there is side B. All right, so last up from King Underground, we have the new Master Sounds, Be Yourself. Now this was originally released in 2003, but this is the first time it's available on vinyl. It's mostly instrumental funk, 
but you do have two uh, vocal tracks, Your Love Is Mine and Idle Time. This number two has got to be my favorite track off of here. Uh, sounds so, so very good. And I have to mention Six Underground. They do a fantastic cover of that 90s trip hop song. And there is the inner sleeve. And then you get uh, credits on all of the tracks right there. And I'll show you the vinyl itself. Love how the labels match the cover art. There is side A. And there is side B. Do yourself a favor, if you haven't listened to them before, check them out. Also, if you are interested in any of these releases, you can save 15% off using the promo code Vinyl Rewind at checkout. Dan was cool enough to set that up. So um, even more reason to pick up some of these releases. So up next, I have Charlie Bliss with their debut album, Guppy from 2017. Now this is from Bandbox. I've talked about them before. They are a vinyl subscription service. And whereas other subscription services are raising their prices, Bandbox actually lowered there. So now it is $29 a month, free shipping in the US only. And you get one record and you also get a zine to go along with it. And this one features an exclusive interview with the band as, and they go into the formation of, of the band and then they go into each uh, track. Another cool thing is that this is their first exclusive pressing. So you can see on the back here, we have the band box logo. What makes it unique is the vinyl color. And I'll show you that right now. It's on this great sort of a uh, light pink color. The, let's see, oh, it's side two, and there is side one. I guess the best way I can describe it is pop rock. They have some great uh, catchy hooks. It's somewhat 90s inspired. The, the uh, drums, bass, and guitar all work really well together. Sometimes some keyboards come through at the right moments. It's just a little bit of icing. And then uh, Eva's lyrics, her, her vocals on top, lend a very nice sonic spectrum to the mix. Yeah, so really enjoyed this record. I want to thank Bandbox for sending it my way. So last up, I have the Beatles Past Masters on vinyl. This is the 2012 remaster. And this came about back in the 80s when the first CDs started to come out from the Beatles and they went to standardize the Beatles catalog. And a lot of that had to do with using uh, the UK versions as the standard bearers, except for Magical Mystery Tour. I'm sure all of you already know this. But then there was, what do we do with all these non-album singles that came out? So they released uh, two separate CDs. I don't know why they were separate, but uh, it was Past Masters Volume 1 and Volume 2. They did something similar uh, a couple years later with the Mono Masters, and it's pretty much the same thing. There's just a, a, a couple minor differences in that uh, these are strictly all mono releases. And so some songs don't appear on here, like Let It Be, You Know My Name, uh, Old Brown Shoe, th those aren't on here because they only existed as stereo mixes. Uh, and then another thing I noticed too is that this is spread across three LPs, whereas this is, a, is on two. And I think um, they, they gave these songs a little bit more breathing room for this release. And you can get this separate from the box set. I believe you can still pick this up. And I'll show you the insert that came with it. Another great photo of the Fab Four. And then you have a lot of great info, not only on this release, but also the individual songs. And this was done by Kevin Howlett. One thing I really like about the LPs is that uh, the first one, it's got the yellow Parlophone labels. There's side one and there's side two. And then I'll show you their second record and it features Apple labels, which I, I really like that detail because it shows you the progression of the band. Here we have uh, side three and there is side four. I highly recommend picking this up if you don't already own it. It's just a really convenient way to listen to a lot of the great Beatles singles that were never on albums. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. Let me know what you think of all these releases. If you're planning on picking up some, let me know that too. If you already own the Past Masters, if you have a vintage copy, let me know how it differs from this 2012 pressing. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.
Hey everybody, thanks again for watching this episode of Awesome Finds. Now if you want to see more, I'll put a playlist right there as well as a video that YouTube will choose for me.